Hey guys, Jason from the lifeinsuranceblog.com and today's video will feature family plan life insurance. We often talk about how to buy life insurance as an individual, but today we'll focus on how to make a purchase for the whole family. There are some definite do's and some serious don'ts, so let's start with those do's. Number one, find an independent agent. An independent agent is going to allow you to see the prices from multiple carriers, not just one. If you get a quote from the company who already holds your car insurance, how will you know how it compares? How will you know if you got a good deal? Number two, consider your coverage amount. Not all family plans available allow for higher face amounts. Some have caps. If you require a substantial amount of coverage, you may have to look outside of a family plan or buy a supplemental policy. Number three, look for conversion opportunities. A family plan which gives you a chance to convert your policies down the road is a huge advantage. You want to get a plan which allows this. Here's your don'ts. Number one, don't package your insurance. A lot of insurance companies suggest bundling your life insurance with a car or home. We don't recommend it. In order to give you a discount on one side, the insurance company is taking from somewhere else. Number two, don't do too much at once. Remember, the idea of a family plan is to get your family covered and do it the simplest way on one policy. Unless there's a substantial difference in premiums, keep it simple. If you would like to get life insurance for your family, there are many options and many strategies to getting the cheapest rates. We'll help you through that. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.